Okay, welcome YouTube, welcome everyone. In theory, well I am, I'm live on Twitch right now. Hey hey, um, how long it remains so, that remains to be seen. But, I am live on Twitch right now. Um, so yep, yeah, it's a nice sunny afternoon. It was a little sunnier an hour ago when I first came out. Probably about half an hour ago. There's been three failed attempts. Um, I had to go back home stuff that wasn't working, technical issues, and then me just forgetting stuff. But here I am at last, out for a ride, uh, and in theory on Twitch. Well no, not in theory, I absolutely am on Twitch. Um, so I've got my Bella box up and running, and so this is my first full test ride to see if cellular bonding is going to fix my issues, resolve my issues. It works right now. Um, yeah, amazing. Um, so basically, I have two modems connected to a nano computer, which is all strapped to my chest, and uh, an Elgato Capture 4K thing, and then my GoPro. <laughs> I feel like Darth Vader. Um, except not as cool. <laughs> And without the homicidal instinct. Uh, yeah. Um, so I have this contraption strapped to my chest. Um, but as of right now, it's working. I'm live on Twitch. Uh, so if this does prove to be more reliable and does uh, maintain a stream for me, then. I can start getting adventurous with my rides and start going further afield and uh, <laughs> see where the road takes me. No, I have some ideas, I have some plans, um, I have some places I'd like to go if I can. There's uh, a few ideas that I have that I reckon I can get myself there easily enough, but I'm not sure I can get myself home again. <laughs> uh, so I'm considering it very carefully. Um, for example, they will allow you to take e-bikes on trains, but they won't allow you to take trikes on a train because they're just too big. Um, so I head out early in the morning. Um, the, my local station will be deserted and What's the correct term? I was about to say unmanned. That is not the correct term. <laughs> Unpersonnelled is not correct. Unstaffed. There we go. Uh, the um, local station will not be will be unstaffed. And uh, yeah, so it'll be easy enough for me to get myself to interesting places. But trouble is getting home again. Once I've been out for an hour or two. There's going to be staff on stations and they might well stop me. Which leaves me miles from home and stuck. <laughs> yeah, right. Cheers. Yeah, he was not expected to be nearly run down by a C5. <laughs> it's like Monty Python's Spanish Inquisition. No one expects to be nearly run down by a C5, in all fairness. I can see my mobile phone is having issues maintaining connection to Twitch, but uh, when it does regain the connection, the video is still very much there. It looks like Twitch might actually be working. Holy hell! He was not going to stop. Uh oh. It sounds like the chain tensioner is... might have come loose again. Let me do that now before I go any further. Well, I've got some grass that I can lean it over on without damaging it. So I have a new chain to go in this basically I've used this so much and done various things that I think have stretched the chain. Um, yes, it has popped off the tensioner. 
luckily it's really easy to resolve and that's resolved um yeah i think the chain is just stretched and it's time for a new one um and i have one sitting at home it's just about sitting down and taking the time out i need to have a maintenance day where i have um a front wheel cover that uh, i'm okay with cutting up so i can put the front wheel cover back on because it needs to be uh, cut around the um, disc brake caliper um, and then i also have uh, i think i need to um, service the motor i think it could do with a uh, just sort of being stripped down and completely regreased um, well so far this has maintained the stream across the heath which I've never been able to do before oh it just as I say that the screen goes brown no back again okay there's a lot of lag and there's usually a good 30 seconds plus of lag um, which isn't the end of the world oh let's just get the crap out of that poor dog um, yeah, hey hey so I'm spending too much time looking down not enough time looking forwards I'm busy looking checking the stream uh, kind of in disbelief that it's actually working the ultimate test is in the park up at the top here um, it always completely disconnects up here um, and I'm expecting it to do the same I don't expect this to survive to the, there are a couple of paths down here where there just seems to be nothing uh, despite all the service providers claiming that they have ultimate coverage which is a big fat lie it is a colossal fib But it'll be a good test. If it does maintain a connection up here, that'd be quite impressive. Um, otherwise, uh, hopefully the SRT monitor will kick in and show a reconnecting, show that it's reconnecting and show uh, a video in the meantime. Um, okay. My little YouTube flag. I was going to say it's worth its weight in gold, but it weighs like two grams. <laughs> so I guess it probably is. <laughs> yeah, okay, the stream is drivel right now, but it's ultimately still there. It hasn't completely disconnected. I'm streaming to an audience the sum zero uh, sum total of zero <laughs> but that's fine it's just a test I said that it was a test when I was going live so uh, I actively discouraged anyone um, from dropping by and the stream title is a something along the lines of probably nothing to see here which in fairness is accurate especially right now um, Oh, it looks like it's finally full on drop the stream. And it might be doing the reconnecting malarkey. Let's go down here where it's always fucked. It is, there we go. Um, oops. Let me see if I can do this no handed. Just, sorry, there's suddenly audio coming through my phone as it's showing a reconnecting video. Ultimately, that means that my phone is getting signal. 
it seems like it's easier to get a signal in than out um, and their coverage claims seem to relate only to um, what you can receive as opposed to what you can send I mean obviously that's 99% of use cases few people are looking to send large quantities of data even if I have currently got it limited to something minimal like 750 kilobits something like that toying with the idea of potentially adding a third modem into the mix um, for maximum possibility of coverage um, the advice I've been given is to have three completely different networks but I can see that there would be a case for having two the same and one different that if you have a stronger network or something, I don't know um, it probably does make sense to have just three completely different ones and see if between the three of them you can get just enough data out to maintain some kind of a broadcast maintain a stream um, well, difference between winter and summer in terms of visitors there are very few because who in their right mind would come to London when it's this freaking cold? It's something like four degrees today, I think. It's going to be two degrees in the next day or two. And uh, minus, minus two at night, next couple of nights. Uh, winter is starting to kick in. And quite frankly, it can do one. I really could quite happily live somewhere tropical. I could live in Florida, Southern California, never see rain again. Or in Florida you see rain between 3.30 and 4.15 and that's it. The, the 30-45 minutes of rain a day that arrives like clockwork and buggers off and it's so hot and arid that 15 minutes it's like later it's like nothing ever happened. Except for of course tornado season. <laughs> it's the price you pay is tornado season and tarantulas they don't have tornado season in California at least they do have scorpions to add to the mix and rattlesnakes um, I can't say I'm concerned about uh, alligators in Florida they do their thing, you do yours, you never anywhere, seldom anywhere near each other I mean if you're intent on going out into the Everglades or something then you can expect to meet some alligators potentially but in normal day to day existence you're just never going to encounter one Spiders however, that's another issue um, In California when I was at the Wasteland weekend Wasteland weekend Wasteland. <laughs> um, spiders were a very real uh, prospect there. Um, we found a couple of holes in the ground that uh, I'm pretty sure were. I saw some spiders disappearing into, and they were not the fun, happy kind. They were the fuck this kind. <laughs> send it down the hill. Nope, let's not send it nowhere. There'll be no sending with all these dogs around. Unleashed. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Kind of them to 
stop, but it's not there. Got their job or place to have to stop for me. I should indeed stop for them. More dozers and the doggies. The sun is lovely. Slightly takes the edge off just how fucking freezing it is. Oh, there I am getting swirly again. I'm supposed to be easing off on persistent swearing. I mean, supposed and reality are different things. Um, let's see what's going on with Twitch. Um, if the issue is my phone, because my phone is not connecting. You know, it says I have a viewer. That's probably me. Uh, yeah, my phone is having issues connecting to Twitch. Oh no, there we are. The phone connected. There's no stream right now. Damn it. Uh, let's go to my uh, stream manager. Where is stream manager? There it is. Boop. Okay, nothing going on here. Back. And try and reconnect. There we go. <laughs> See if they, we can pick something up down in Greenwich, if this improves. Oh! It just popped up with an image from the General Wolf, which is what, five minutes ago? I don't know if perhaps there's an SRT setting that you can use that tells it to sort of bin data from a certain period of time ago and just sort of auto catch up. Like sort of if something is, if you get to the point where it's say 30, sort of 60 seconds out of whack, data arrived, data is arriving that was sent more than 60 seconds ago. And if there's new data arriving, sort of bin the old data and just jump straight to the new data. I don't know if that's something that can even be uh, done with SRTLA. Um, there are a whole bunch of settings that I don't understand. Um, uh, as I'm literally just getting to grips with it. So yeah, I had a weekend of unbelievable, well, un unbelievable nerdery. Um, setting up, uh, and, yeah, the streaming. Um, so it involved uh, setting up Windows Subsystem for Linux on my uh, main computer at home, installing Ubuntu into that, um, setting up the wrong system of Windows Subsystem for Linux, costing me an entire day, <laughs> uh, binning that, um, going back to the original version of our WSL, which is the right version, um, and suddenly it all started working a lot more easily, so I had to install something called SRTLA and SRT. So SRTLA is what talks to the rig that's attached to my chest, it then talks internally to SRT, SRT then talks from that version, that sort of virtual machine that's running Linux, that then talks to the actual Windows uh, installation that's hosting it. Um, that then talks to OBS, which then, boom, out it goes to Twitch. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, serious propeller head stuff. Um, but. It's working. It's not working very well. All I'm getting is reconnecting. 
mind you a lot of that is my phone whoops <laughs> I don't have my glove on Ha, ha, check that out. So there we have the lovely Catisart. And if you look up in the rigging, there are people up there in the rigging. <laughs> um, you can pay, oh, it's an obscene amount, it's something like 40 or 50 quid, I think it is, to climb the rigging and then zip line down. Um, it's one of those things, it's sort of, it's a lot of money for, well, it's a lot of money, but it's a lot of money for a short ish experience, but it's quite an experience it's not something you get to do every day hey um actually i think that is a good time to take a picture and add something to my instagram and uh twitter right so that's um uh, there we go there we go um ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -bum. Sorry, that's disgusting. Do apologise. Right. Uh, how do I do this? I do it so infrequently. Sorry. Boring content while I type stuff <laughs> and post there we go that's doing its thing let's see if I can get uh, twitch to do something again in my terrible reception oh I've message that's fine oh my hands are flipping feeling this having taken the gloves off to do this straight back on with those Right. Oh, looks like half a school has just arrived. Oh, who on earth would bring them out on a school trip in a day as cold as today? How mean is that? Yeah, people in the rigging are waving. Let's go and have a quick look at the river. Oh, I can't imagine for one second there'll be uh, one of the um, cruise liners anymore. I can't imagine there'd be any in, at this time of year. It is uh, medium tide, neither high nor low. Not great, not terrible. Uh, it's just quiet, no tourists, just a couple. <laughs> Every now and again I'm out and about. Oh really? That's awesome. It's a Sinclair C5. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Clive Sinclair. Yeah. Yeah. No way, that's awesome. Yeah. Do you want to have a go? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I thought, oh, no, <laughs> Probably for the best in that yeah. case, yeah. Well, not a lot, I've only had a couple, but yeah. <laughs> How far say go? Uh, 15 miles an hour. Steve, I am. What's nice to meet you, Steve. Yeah. I'm Robin. Rob Robin, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Yeah. Is he still around, is he? No, he passed away he's last year, unfortunately, he's yeah. He's quite old, he's quite old. I was only a kid. I bought some mountain bikes off of him and stuff. And no way. Yeah, yeah. Actually, really had a shop. I think he, he actually designed the building, didn't he? It was Clive Sinclair that did it. The guy that did the, the little ZX Spectrum and the ZX 81 yeah. and all of that. Yeah, but lots of different places were sold. Well, a few here. places he sold them. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. It was yeah. a lot of fun. Worth quite a bit of money. Um, yeah, about uh, 
sort of a decent one starts at about 750 to 1,000 yeah. nowadays. So and then not an enormous, enormous amount. Is that road legal then? Yes, that's the best bit. Anyone over 14, it's road legal. Yeah. So it's legally, it's Where's an electric. Local, Robin, yeah? yeah, just up, uh, up near yeah, Blackheath. Yeah. What do yeah. you do? Just put it in the garage and take it out sometime? Yeah, exactly. Come out whenever it's dry. And... They've got to be 30 years old. Yeah, 38, I think it is. Yeah. 38 years old or 37, something like that. Older yeah. Than me. Sorry? Older than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go with that as well. I'm younger than me, sorry. <laughs> I'm three. No, we'll go with older. We'll go with older. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a lot of fun. I get it. I... Sorry? How long does the battery last? Um, so this is a modern lithium battery, oh, so battery, yeah. yeah. So this one, will, when it was new, it would do about 18 miles. So I'm testing it now, I've been having a bit of issues with it. So I see how if... Uh, 18 miles? Yeah, that's not too bad. How is it, really? Um, you can buy a bigger battery, or buy a second one, fit it under this side as well. Um, so yeah, exactly, it's not very big, it's about that size, and it only weighs a couple of kilos. Whereas the old car battery, a big ass yeah. car battery, it weighed a ton. Uh, whereas, so you've got space to put a bigger lithium battery in there. Yeah, yeah. Right there. What, what, what inch and amp is that one you've got in there? Uh, so this is a 36 amp hour battery, yeah. but it's 12 volts. 12 volts. Um, so I'm thinking of fitting maybe a 24 volt battery under here and switching it over. Yeah. So you can have it yeah, sort of like, yeah. just for going up hills and stuff like that. Oh, or, man, park? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can, just came through the park. Yeah, it's good to see it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, nice one. A lot of people notice it. Oh yeah, all the time. Constantly yeah. get stopped. So I filmed my rides for YouTube. Yeah. Um, because I used to come out and just come out for a ride, and people would stop and want to chat. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I might as well record my rides and chat to people. Yeah. And yeah. I, I will look on YouTube. What is it? What's the C5 Live UK. It's on the back here. Yeah. C5, C5 Live, Live UK. UK. I'll, I'll that. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, I will nice to meet you, man. Well, you too. Have a good one. Cheers. I'll do my best. Cheers, ta-da! <laughs> and guys like him are exactly why I YouTube and wanted to do, to do Twitch as well. There's people who just want to stop and chat, get to meet people, and they make it interesting for me, as opposed to just, uh, just out and about. So I was rather hoping that around the university here I might actually pick up some reception. But the problem seems to mostly be, well I don't know if it is or not, um, I'm not picking it up, picking up Twitch from my phone. Um, whether it's broadcasting, or I'll never know until I look at the VOD on Twitch. But I'm getting nothing. Um, who knows? So I'm going to have to sit down and watch back the entire VOD for this on Twitch and see how much of it actually got out. Oh heck, I'm live. I'm actually live. I'm not sure where that was though. Is that in Greenwich Park? That was like, oh no, it's not live again. <laughs> no. So it will be interesting to see how much of this does actually get out or not. Um, it's so difficult, I think I might need to um, teach someone how it all works. Uh, so I can have someone watch the server at home uh, and see what's going on. At least I won't have to worry about the rig overheating. <laughs> That's definitely not an issue. <laughs> um, a lot of the guys report having issues with their hardware overheating. Um, that's definitely not an issue today. <laughs> now all I'm getting is the reconnecting screen. That's disappointing. There's a lot of 
time and effort and money to what possibly has been not a lot of difference. Ultimately, if there's no coverage, there's no coverage. Hello. Let me just uh, log into the stream box and check it's connected. Let's see what happens. Uh, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. So I need some. Of this. I'm going to have to cover the camera for a minute. Um, Oh, I had a Wi-Fi turned off. That's probably for the best. Right, OK, I'm connected back to the stream rig. Well, part of it. So that's this. Check that. OK, yep. And then there's the Bella box. Ah, oh, come on. It says that, no, there's no sensitive data. All, right, all SRT connections have failed re trying to reconnect. Okay, it looks like no, all SRT LA connections have failed trying to reconnect. God damn it, what if I try stopping and completely restarting? See if that'll make a difference, if I can connect back to the screen. No, failed to connect to the SRT server, retrying, all SRT LA connections have failed trying to reconnect. Oh, damn it. So I wonder how long that survived before it failed. Um, it's clearly something, it just ends up abandoning it and uh, not on the server, I guess. I wonder if there's something I need to add to the stream commands uh, to make it more resilient. Let me give it a second. Stop it for a, for a few seconds before attempting to reconnect. I wonder how long ago that failed. Um, in which case I might as well just head back home. I mean I do need to do a test the battery duration as well. Um, but it's bloody cold for doing that. No, for fuck's sake. Nope, nothing. Let me leave it in a disconnected status for now. Oh shit, that's going to need editing out. Idiot. There you go, Twitch, that's what I wanted. Uh, They're flipping optimistic. Someone trying to spam my Twitch feed. <laughs> Block. Spam. Go. Confirm. Try reconnecting. So yeah, this is just the control unit for the Bella box and it's just not, you can see here, that it's just not connecting to the server at all. Uh, there seems to be something about the SRTLA server that's not resilient. It'll only take so many failures and disconnections before it just sort of gives up. That's frustrating. Um, and basically there there is a cloud server that you can pay for but it's ten dollars a month and i just i can't afford that i just can't afford 120 quid a year um on an ongoing basis um, maybe i might pay it for a month and see if it works if it works and maybe it'll start to become worth doing Grab a screenshot of this. Um, right, stop. Let's get 
crack. Sorry, just typing a message to someone who's actually on my Twitch right now, just to let them know that sadly they're wasting their time. Try us again once more. No, the server's fallen over at home basically. Right, screw this, let's mosey on. Um, this is achieving nothing. Um, At least the freezing cold means the Greenwich sewers don't stink. In the summer, they are not it's not a pleasant place to be. Yeah, that area right there, it's grim.
to go straight back up the hill because I'm bloody freezing. On the plus side, the nope, there it goes. <laughs> I was literally saying the battery seems to be holding up uh, a bit better, but it's not. It just dropped the light, which means it's probably got about, I think it was four or five miles left. It should have about 10 to 12 miles left. to any cyclist who can make it up here. Hello there. I rode up it once, nearly killed me. <laughs> on the right it's when the hill breaks Covid. I haven't had a chance to really exercise properly since I caught Covid for what I think is the third time a few months ago. Beep beep. Yep, because saying beep beep makes people psychically know exactly what the hell's going on. 
<laughs> around the corner that they can't see. attempt to connect to uh, OBS back home otherwise I'll uh, turn the stream off entirely stop wasting people's time um, actually that's something I can try um, right so bear with me sorry I've got to cover the screen Close on Twitch, no Wi Fi, right. Uh, attempt to connect. Oh, hello, yes, one of them's alive. Not the actual. So yes, if I lean over, you can see. So you can see that there are these are the two modems. One of them is bitrate two kilobits per second, so basically it's just nothing, not connected at all. And the second one, oh, oh, it just died. It was blasting away there quite happily. Why? Or was it failing so badly before because it just had no uh, no service? Nope. <laughs> was it just that I was in just that much of a dead spot? <laughs> no, there was nothing. Try again. I'm going to leave that running. And uh, see what happens as I move around when I'm in different places. But I'll let the bus go first. There's no point going around the bus, I'm just going to be in his way. If he's ever going to go, I don't want to go. Oh, now he goes. Always the fucking way, isn't it? They literally wait until you're about to pass them. <laughs>
of the fact that I'm holding up the bus. There we go. You're not paying attention, dude. Stop watching me in your rear view mirror and watch the road. <laughs> Fucking hell. Hey, road rage. <laughs> the bus decided he was coming out, come what may. The car wasn't happy about it, beeped like mad, busted the driver, then decided he was going to tell the car driver what he thought of that. <laughs> it's all kicking off in the standard. <laughs> These guys can't see me till it. Jesus Christ, on the bike! Can't see me till they clear that bus. I love that. All right, man. going on two seconds sorry no failing to connect to the server still god knows it really could just be that the reception is just that crap that it can't it can't connect at all. Oh, shit. Is on. There we go. Sometimes vaguely get some service around here. So when I pull off the road up here, I'll have another go. It's a Sinclair C5. Uh, only 15 miles an hour, it's like the law. It's all right, it's a giggle. Cheers. <laughs> it like, looks pretty fun though. Like, oh, yeah, it is, it's a glass. It's a giggle. It's a laugh, what's that? It's like a sound you're making in the back of your throat. Young ones. Nothing, just nothing. <sighs> it's 
So what I might do is pay for one month of server server rental if that's something that I can that can be done and take it from there. See if it has something to do with my server falling over at home. If it is purely to do with the quality of or lack of quality of reception here. Cheers. Um, yeah. My gut feeling is it's probably just to do with the lack of service, cell service. One modem, two modem, modems, neither here nor there. If nothing can get out. Oh, timing. I only do this tiny stretch of, uh, uh, of this road, the A2, knowing that if I come down here, start when the lights turn green for the pedestrian crossing, I can generally get off it before the traffic catches me up. There's a car behind me, I wish they'd just come on past me. There's plenty of space to come by. I should just get on with it. Finally. Okay. And I'm just hovering behind me like that's way more dangerous. There's plenty of room. Get on with it. <laughs> Out of the way here a minute and 
optimistically and fruitlessly, naively perhaps, have another attempt. Oh, it's disconnected from the Bella Box itself. Interesting. Okay, I am connected to... Hello there. Uh, it should not be disconnected from the Bella Box. I disagree. to connect <sighs> give it a minute to stop hammering at its door hello hello oh, my dog came to say hello Let's have a go. Nope. Failed to connect. What's that icon? Oh, gone already, that's what that icon is. Send it down through Blackheath Village and then go home. It's too cold. It's not working well enough to justify putting up with the cold. <laughs> Great guns, I'd put up with it. I'd suck it up. Who is going on earth? your chance to come past. I wish they'd pass me when it was safe, not when it's really freaking dangerous. Traffic sucks.
Yeah, that chap I just said hello to there too was uh, uh, the homeless chap that used to be outside the Marks and Spencers over in the Royal Standard. Then he moved down into Greenwich and yeah, now he's here in Blackheath. I always say hello when I see him. And I'm just going to head up to the stopping off point. Why are you disconnected from the bell about this? No, you're not. That's a lie. I'm sorry, there's me sniffing away. The cold air makes my nose run like a motherfucker. Quality stream content. <laughs> Pro streamer. <laughs>
because it decided it was going to give me suddenly was going to start working I don't think it's going to make any difference but stop that connect to a blade uh, OBS, no that's going to give away an IP address OBS blade that will connect me to OBS back at the back at home couldn't connect to a web socket oh that's interesting okay so something's gone tits up on the server at home that uh, I <laughs> so I technically can't stop the stream can't stop streaming <laughs> the early version of the journey song that didn't make it <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what exactly has gone on at home. started out really well. It worked really well until it didn't. <laughs> so if anyone makes it this far into the stream, you know, stream it's a video isn't it, it's YouTube, it's not a stream anymore, there is no stream. Anyway, if anyone makes it this far, thank you for coming along for the ride, or for jumping in and out through the video, any of it, it's all good. Even if you come in and watch 60 seconds of it, I'm grateful for your time. Um, because let's face it, you could be doing anything. And if you choose to spend a couple of minutes with me, I'm very grateful. Um, leave a comment below. Say <laughs> brass monkeys, because it's that cold. We could freeze the balls off a brass monkey. <laughs> so yeah, leave a comment, brass monkeys. Um, and uh, I'll pull in at my usual stopping off point and uh, call it a day while well, I still have some feeling left in my hands. Right, looks like this is where I'm stopping then today. Um, right, okay. If they'd like to sponsor my video, that'd be great. <laughs> right. Thank you for keeping me company. Uh, I'm going to call it there. I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to come out next. It's so bloody cold. Um, it's kind of not a lot of fun. It's that cold, it's not much fun. Uh, if I can figure out why my stream rig uh, okay, fell over, then maybe I might have another go. Um, but otherwise, bugger that. It's not the time of year to be out riding around. Uh, it's just freaking, freaking cold. Um, thank you so much. And uh, I'll catch you whenever I catch you. I've been C5 Live UK, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe. <laughs>